statement that I made, and I think I even made it on the show, was if this device isn't going to improve boot time mm -hmm. of games, not just of the device itself, then why are we even here? Of, then then why am I doing it? Yeah. And and so there was an article posted doing it in Gadget. They, they obviously have a device, and it starts off with the Xbox Series X is zippy. Blah 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 blah. Oh, a technical zip, term, zip, zip. I see. <laughs> um, and they go on to, but the interesting thing is they didn't get to the speed right away. They but they talked about every backwards compatible game is going to get automatic HDR support. All of the frame rates are going to be doubled. So if a title was 30 frames per second it'll be 60 60 120 etc etc now doesn't that um, like some of the games are kind of developed around that 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 frame rate speed a little bit aren't they for like playability am, am, I, am, I, think, I, not, am I mistaken on that i think they're built for a certain frame rate but they're also balancing resolution with frame rate mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. me now i get the best of both worlds like i don't think you could do a 4k you couldn't do a 4K game at 120 frames per second mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. and maybe there'll still be some limits around that. But where it really got me was further down in the article, they started talking about quick resume. Oh, wait a minute. It was before that. There, there's a section of the article where they started talking about how the person, when they died in a game, would literally put down their controller and go get a drink. And that's exactly how I feel. Yeah, that, that's me in Red Dead Redemption 2, for sure. And now they're saying, oh, there, there it is. So booting up an Xbox scene take took 30 to 38 seconds on the Xbox One. And now it's consistently takes nine seconds, 10 at the most. Um, it's, it's a significant change 